Alright guys, so today we'll start our program with some weighted one-arm chin-ups and we'll progress from there. That one was for you Tyson. I think we've all seen enough skin the cats to last us a few years, so I've just chosen to show you weeks one and four. Ambitious me is going to attempt a human flag. I'm just going to put all the energy I have into it and try and get the goal out. Yep. Oh, I didn't manage to get the hold at the horizontal, but that is by far the best set I've done. So uh, I'm pretty happy. This month I think I showed some progress with the human flags, uh, however I'm still quite far from having the straight body human flag hold. One thing I want to work on is aiming to control the negative better, specifically the second half of the flag where I'm dropping from the horizontal to the ground, because at the moment I've got very little control in that area. Push. You're arching. Press. Close your shoulders. This month, I learned about the importance of the small micro adjustments made by the wrists during handstands. These adjustments are extremely important and have a huge effect on your balance during the handstand. I've been very happy with my progress on handstands this month. Uh, I think it's got something to do with the fact that I um that was a close one. I think it's got something to do with the fact that I was practicing more than just three times a week. So on my rest days, I still did handstand practice at home and that definitely helped. Whilst I have a much better idea on the whole balance point part of the handstand, I know my technique still isn't perfect as my shoulders aren't open like they should be. So it looks look something like this. What I'm doing now is more closed. And I'll open up like that when I'm ready. So you can see how I started off closed and then I open them up a bit more. So once I can balance for as long as I want, then I'll focus on opening the shoulders. Yeah, up. I didn't have much energy for front levers this session, so I had to drop back to the single leg extension. On my third set, after doing the front lever negative, I usually like to go back up and do the one-legged variation of the front lever negative so I can control it nicely. And in the future, basically, what I'm aiming for is to have the full body front lever negative at the same speed that I do my one lever negative.
Wow. I can't believe I just got two one-arm chin-ups on my third set this deep into the program. I'm very happy with how I've progressed with one-arm chin-ups this month, of being able to get any full range of motion one-arm chin-ups this late in the program. I really need to work towards getting the same strength with my left arm as I do with my right. One. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. As an added bonus between sessions one week, I joined Craig for a rope climb as their great practice for one arm chin ups. Pretty good. Yes, good man. Felgers. More like failures. Am I right? I haven't been able to achieve a filger in my home setup. It's clearly not the ideal setup having it on a tree because when I'm swinging to, uh, to flip up into the felger, the branch, the whole thing bends, therefore re reducing my power from the swing entirely. And I just can't get over the top. It's very frustrating. It hurts my hands. I'm not happy guys, I'm not happy at all, I want a refund. I really want to progress in those planche holds, but it is really tough. Um, like I've said before, it's going to require patience on this one. I'm just going to continue working at it as I am, focusing on having those straight arms and leaning as far forward as I can. And I think if I do it that way, eventually the further forward I'll be able to lean, the more I'll be able to open up my body and eventually extend my legs out behind me. Up. Up a little bit more than that, you oh, just... Okay. Good. To tidy up my back levers a bit, one thing I should be doing is pointing my toes. A little bit more, stop! Nice. I feel like there has been a bit of elbow and forearm pain that I've been getting and uh, it, just, um, it just takes away a bit of the strength that I usually have in this exercise. Um, so in that respect I'm a bit reluctant to push myself as hard as I possibly can because I really don't want to injure myself. As we've stated many times guys, there's no point, it'll just put you out and you will be far worse off. Hashtag am I right? So that's it for the month 9 program, stay tuned for an exciting month 10 coming soon. Hmm, 
something's wrong. 